Bianca Babine today. If you're just joining us, we are having a fascinating discussion with jewelry designer Ramona Har. She has done her research about our heritage from the past through jewelry and art. So thank you, Ramona, for sharing your passion on the show. It shows that you're really passionate about this and that you want to spread the message. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want all the Filipinos to be proud of our ancient heritage because th that is really something that we have to be proud of. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, they are not proud of it because they don't know about it. Right, so right. So my book is actually uh, a way of spreading the story. That's and, right. you know, spreading the story, it has its own power. Yes. And I want everybody to know that our ancient jewelers were masters of the art of granulation and not just that they were masters in jewelry making techniques mm -hmm. and they are considered as the best they have only been rivaled by the best in europe the ancient etruscans that's right okay yes now pag-usapan natin uh, before we went to break we talked about this maharlika collection yes let's talk about that ano ba ito this is these are the designs that are using the filigree and granulation techniques. Mm. Now, granulation is a technique where you, where they use the jewelers use tiny, tiny, tiny granules of gold to make a pattern mm -hmm. or decoration. Mm -hmm. And as I have said, granulation is considered to be the most amazing technique ever that was well, that were developed by the ancient uh, jewelry makers. Okay, so why did you want to create the, the Maharlika collection? Because I want to spread the story that our ancient uh, Filipino goldsmiths were masters at it and it is still, and we have still jewelers in the Philippines that know the technique. Okay. They may not be as fine as the ancient ones, but they still have the technique. Okay, so sabihin na natin na napakaganda talaga at gusto na mga taong makakuha ng isang um, piece of jewelry from you. How does this work? They can get in touch with me. I have actually a website. It's RamonaHard.com, mm -hmm. and I believe my phone number is there. Okay, or wonderful. Or they can message me on Facebook. Okay. Ramona so, Hart. so you are open to people getting in touch with you because I know it's one of a kind. You won't have the same piece yes, as anybody else, and that's what makes it so special. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. And where can people get a copy of the book as well? Uh, the book will be on Amazon. I have not put on there yet, mm -hmm. but it will be on Amazon. Ramona, what is your message to our kababayans that are very interested in this ancient art of jewelry making? Whenever you have, uh, you're in the Philippines, go to the Banco Central Museum, mm -hmm. and uh, you can actually view the all the uh, the exhibit in. Banco Central, mm -hmm. it's in their uh, permanent exhibit, and you can find examples that were, this were made 5th century AD or even much earlier, okay. much, much more intricate. And uh, I think a group, uh, a Filipino group with Lloyda Lewis is going to, to exhibit some of the pieces from Banco Central and some from private collections in New York in September, I will be there to view it. But my work is just, this is like the modern twist. You have so, to make so it. So are you, you're able to put a modern twist yes. on sort of the way that the jewelry is made? Yes, because you know, in the ancient times, you know, the Philippines, we don't have colored stones. We are, ge geologically, the Philippines is a young, ge you know, a young, a young land mass. Mm -hmm. So we don't have colored stones, and we don't have diamonds in the Philippines, but we are rich in gold. Yes. We, are, we have a lot of gold. So the ancient examples didn't really use much uh, colored stones. But because but you love because, colored yes, stones. But, and you know, so modern people, you know, can appreciate the designs. It's more like contemporary designs, but the inspiration is, you know, the past or the yes. ancient. So you are melding modern and traditional yes. through the use of these ancient techniques of making jewelry. They are stunning and beautiful up close. I mean, if you look at it, you can really tell the craftsmanship. Yes, and it is handcrafted by Filipino goldsmiths. 
Maraming maraming salamat, Ramona, for being here, sharing with us all your knowledge and passion here on Kababayan today. Thank you for inviting me, Giselle. All right. At ngayon naman, magbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan today. But before we go, I just want to say thank you so much to Tita Prosi de la Cruz at pinahiram niya sa akin yung kanyang napakaganda na sing-sing made by Ramona. Magbabalik mo kami here on Kababayan today.